project consists of uh, four permits, the uh, Rambo, Kao, Gulagu, uh, Ronga, and uh, Yuba. It's about 700 square kilometers, so it's a significant-sized uh, permit. We've been working there for uh, all of the time that we've been in the country, starting with Rambo acquiring Kao and then followed that by Gulagu and Ronga. Uh, currently, we have three deposits that uh, contain 43101 resource. That would be the Gulagu, Kao, and Rambo, and you'll see the number of ounces there. Gulagu with about 580,000 ounces, uh, Kao with uh, 508,000, and Rambo with about 57,000 ounces. They're all within seven or eight kilometers of each other. And we think this uh, can be looked at from the perspective of a central processing facility to treat all of the uh, potential ore from these deposits. Having finished uh, drilling uh, last year, we commissioned a Wardrop Engineering to uh, undertake a resource estimate for us. And looking at slide nine, you'll see Wardrop's estimate there of 21.4 million tons at an average grade of 1.2 grams per ton for a contained uh, ounces of 820,000, 500 ounces, and an inferred category, 12,200,000 tons at an average grade of 0.82 grams per ton, which gives a contained ounces of 320,300, totally together 1.14 million, million ounces in both categories. Our 2009 program concentrated uh, on the KARMA project. Uh, we, one of our goals was to complete a new resource calculation, which you've heard uh, we have done and has been completed. Uh, we also had a program to drill test new targets in the vicinity of the known mineralization. Uh, two months ago, we started a 6,000-meter program of RAB and RC drilling on the KARMA project. Uh, the initial results from the RAB have been reported in news releases in the last two weeks, which are available on our website. And thirdly, we are undertaking some metallurgical test work. Uh, test work has been done in the past on Gulagu with excellent uh, recoveries, and we are doing further work now on the cow deposit to confirm that we believe to be a, a comparable recoveries on cow. we just like to reiterate that although Karma is our most advanced property and uh, the one that we're uh, most, uh, most advanced with, we do have a pipeline of other properties. Just looking at the left-hand si side of the image, there's the Yaramoko. We've done one phase of drilling on that and got some very nice uh, intercepts in the first phase, uh, which warrants some good follow-up drilling. Uh, the Ligeti property in the southern part of the country has had a lot of surface work done, and it's now drill-ready. Similarly, in the north uh, uh, east part of the country, our Solna project is also drill-ready, and our Bisa East and Bisa West, uh, we're doing surface work mapping, sampling, et cetera, to develop uh, targets there. So again, a, uh, a good pipeline of projects coming in behind Karma. Finally, on slide 12, uh, just to wrap up uh, what Riverstone is about, we have a 43101 gold resource uh, totaling 1.14 million ounces of gold. We have a significant potential to increase those resources at Karma. Karma has a potential for early, low-cost gold production through heap leach extraction methods. And behind Karma, we have five other projects uh, in our pipeline. And a recent share price at 22 cents, we think it make, represents great value for, for new shareholders. So in concluding our presentation, I want to thank all of you for joining us. I encourage all of you to take this opportunity to post any questions that you may have about the company. For those of you who are watching this presentation at its scheduled time, you can begin posting your questions now. For those of you watching the presentation outside of the scheduled time,
please post your questions now, and we'll check back later for our responses. Thanks very much for your attention.